Hi Scorpio, welcome to your May bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome in. Thank you. So Scorpio, this bonus reading is intended to give you some extra messages. If some of your monthly readings didn't resonate for you, maybe something here it will. That's my intention. So we will take a little look at love, life, and advice and guidance for you. And then we'll clarify all the energy with Tarot. I'll be pulling um, two cards from each Oracle deck. And then we'll clarify all the energy with tarot. So this is intended for sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. Please only take the messages that resonate for you. Uh, leave the rest. If something's not resonating, it's not your message. Please don't try to make it fit. It could be past, present, future. Time is fluid, interchangeable. It could be someone around you, affecting you, however it plays out for you. So let's see what we have for you, Scorpio, for the general collective. This is not a private reading. It's a general collective reading. If you would like a private reading, that info is below. The decks I'm using, tons of stuff down in the description box. So please do go check that out if you would like to. And if you're new and would like to check out my channel, like what you see, feel free, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. I'll hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get at least four readings a month. Right now I'm doing five. I may change it to four. Not sure. But you still do get at least four readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much. All right. Scorpio. So I hope everybody's doing uh, well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. What's going on in love for the Scorpio Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. The Jarrow Collective. In love, spirit, please. Thank you so much. I'll be getting one. Feeling this one. And then I take from the bottom. I'm going to pull them all first. And then we'll go over the energies. And then we'll clarify the energies with tarot. So this is sort of like a quick uh, reading. So I'm not really going to go over um, a lot of signs or anything like that. So you either resonate with the messages or you don't. So again, only take it how it resonates for you. All right. So I may be changing the bonus readings in the future to the top three or four um, readings or signs that had the most views, likes uh, in the previous month. All right. Because I do work a full-time job. I'm still working. I'm still an essential worker, so I still work full-time. So until I can make this my livelihood full time, uh, my time is limited with private readings um, and doing my YouTube channel readings. So let me change the bonus readings to maybe just two, uh, at least three, maybe four of the top viewed signs from the previous month. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, what is going on in the life of Scorpio for the general collective? Someone rising Venus Trooper, male or female. What do we need to know right now in the lives of Scorpio? Feeling that one. Whoop. Definitely is the bond card, definitely for you. <laughs> it wouldn't even let me take it. It was like, I'm just coming out. <laughs> All right, so this is a guardian angel oracle, and I don't really see uh, many people use this, but it's a cute little oracle deck. So we'll get some messages and guidance for you from the guardian angels. See which our messages of advice and guidance is for this bonus reading. Whenever you see this, I do consider all my readings timeless. Links to your playlist are below. Love in general. All right. Don't pay attention to the dates. You find a title that you resonate with, watch it. All right. Time is fluid and interchangeable. All right. And energy 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 can shift and change every minute every second of every day energy could be here one second as i'm reading and then second later it shifts and changes so all right so what is your advice guidance may scorpio from the guardian angels what is your advice and guidance for this bonus reading spirit please the scorpio collective someone rising venus jupiter male or female what is the message? Oh, there we go. That one and bottom. All right. Let's see what we got. Love. It's a new deck. This is The Power of Love by James Van Prague. We have integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. So this is being in integrity, value, self-worth, value, moral, just. All right, transformation. You see the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. So maybe, you know, transforming into a more, uh, 
state of being more of value, integrity, um, moral, just, and right kind of energy. So living now in more of an energy of integrity and not accepting anything less than that. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on in your life. We're going to clarify with the tarot in a minute here. Princess of Winter, inquisitive, truthful, realistic, undiplomatic, information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness in indigo child or adult. This is the Page of Swords. This is an energy of open, honest, truthful communication. It can be learning something new, learning something new online. It can be spying or learning out new things. Um, kind of energy also. All right. Along with the Prince of Summer. Romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious. Falling in love suddenly. Being swept off your feet. The need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. So this is the Knight of Cups. So... You may be finding something out here from a loved one may come forward with some truth or honesty or some information here. It could be something romantic or it could be something emotional. Uh, someone may come forward to you very emotional about something that's going on with them and maybe needing your advice, guidance. Maybe they need help to see truth or clarity. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. This is the life portion. I mean, it could be about love. Or it could be anything. It could be a friend, friend, family, I mean, co-worker, if you are still working. Um, somebody maybe, you know, I feel like somebody who treasures you, who loves you dearly, or could, you know, a loved one in some way, shape, or form, may be coming forward to you in an emotional state and needing your advice, guidance, you know, telling you something and needing, you know, mental clarity on something. Or that could be your energy towards somebody else. So however that plays out for you. All right. So let's see what your advice or guidance is, Scorpio. So we have insight. So I'm going to look up what uh, our uh, guardian angel that represents. And we have Archangel Uriel is coming through here. So... If you are familiar with the Archangels, so Uriel may be important because he's coming out directly here. So maybe an angel you may want to look up, research, work with. This is gain, So you may be needing to gain um, insight. I believe this is Archangel Michael with the blue border. So um, you may be needing to gain, um, yeah, Archangel Michael. So he's about truth, clarity, um, protection, justice, power. So this, I think, is to gain insight and to research and work with Archangel Uriel. I think Michael, it's like Michael's coming through to tell you, your angel, and who you need to work with is Uriel. So that's a, it's like one angel helping another kind of. So, or this, you know, gaining new insight about things in your life. So, you know, so wow. So that's kind of an odd message, but, um, Uriel um, is beauty and enlightenment. So it's about spiritual peace also. So it could be, you know, looking up spirituality, getting more in tune and touch with spirituality, peace, harmony, beauty, um, kind of energy also. Getting insight, spiritual insight. Because you see this uh, person here kind of is like meditating, praying kind of energy. So... Wow, that's an interesting message. All right. So maybe you're working, maybe you work more with Archangel Michael, but I think Michael is also stepping forward to say you also need Archangel Uriel in your life in some way, shape, or form. That's a, wow. It's like Michael is <laughs> helping Uriel. Uriel is helping Michael. That's, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that's, you know, isn't that what life is all about, is helping one another? All right, so let's see, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. All right, let's clarify this energy for the Scorpio Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, in love. What is this integrity and transformation about? Six of Swords. So moving forward to a much better place of peace, harmony, and balance, leaving past BS behind, and that's the transformation. Leaving behind what is no longer serving you and transforming forming into a state of having high morals, integrity, value, 
um, kind of energy. Just and right energy. Chariot, yeah. Again, positive movement forward. Strength, being strong, courageous, and brave. It's, you know, balance. It's um, success and victory. Moving forward fearlessly. Two cards. The Six of Swords is like the minor almost of the uh, chariot. Wow. Moving forward fearlessly in this new energy of self-worth, value, integrity. Queen of Swords. So seeing, you know, this is like my divine intervention, my divine clarity card. So this is seeing with divine clarity and transforming, cutting away things no longer serving you. Telling you like it is, not backing down kind of energy. Honest, open, truthful communication. So I feel like you've transcended, transformed into the someone now of very clear thinking, uh, clear minded, having high value integrity, not afraid now to cut away things no longer serving you. So this could be a loved one. Um, our energies of a love of the past that's no longer serving you. Now you're ready. So you could have, that could have been past energy, but now you're ready to move forward into something more, um, you know, peaceful and balanced. It's like, you know, I feel like you're ready, you know, in the future to have something more of a higher integrity of what you had in the past and a love relationship. It's kind of what I'm feeling, Scorpio. So let's see something more balanced. Eight of Wands. So you may be getting communication here over the internet, the airwaves. Um, somebody may be interested in you and may now be communicating to you that they're interested. That's way too many. All right, so let's see what else here. Five of Cups, but you may reject it. <laughs> it may come across as just very fiery, passionate, flirty, you know, and you get this inclination, okay, this is just someone interested in like the passion or have to have a little fun. And you're like, you know what? I'm beyond that now. I'm no more in that energy. I'm not dealing with that anymore. So you may reject this person, the Five of Cups energy. All right. Or you're feeling, you know, kind of lonely and ready for something new. So the sun. So this is happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Enlightenment, empowerment, healing energy, happy home and family, success, victory. So... If you're feeling low and like, you know, I transform, I transcended, I do have high integrity value. Now I cut away a relationship that was no longer serving me, but I'm ready to move on to something new, more balanced, peaceful, harmonious, that's in the same integrity and energy I am in. You may get communication from somebody and you may or may not accept it, but whatever you do is best for you with the sun energy here. So if you feel, um, you know, you're little sad and lonely you know ready for something new and this communication comes in and you accept it success victory healing enlightenment if you decide you know nope i'm going to reject it you still are going to be happy successful joyous whatever in your own right no matter what you decide to do you know integrity so you're choosing what you transform and now you're able with that clear-minded energy of the queen of swords to decide what's best for you so either way you're doing what's best for you and you still have a happy outcome all right, I feel like you're only going to settle for something that's now in the same energy you are in, that you transformed in, of high integrity, moral, just, and value. All right, so, all right, let's see what's this um, Princess of Winter and Prince of Cups. I feel like you are either going through something emotional and need advice and guidance from someone, so you're going to someone you love dearly, or someone's coming to you that loves you dearly, that may be going through an emotional time, needs some advice, guidance, or some way, needs truth and clarity. So let's see what this is about for you, Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles. So somebody coming in and needing somebody that is very stable, grounded, practical, smart, wise, someone very grounded coming in. I feel like they either had an offer come to them, it's like they're holding it in their hand, and it's like they need you to review it. I don't know what to do with this or something like that. So let's see. Let's see. It's like I could feel them coming forward and I feel like maybe they took time on their own to think about it or try energy, but still like holding it, holding it up and looking at it. Like, I don't know what to do with this, you know? So let's see what else the hermit. Yeah. And I just said that. So they, <laughs> they're holding it up and they're trying to figure it out. Like, I just don't know what to do, you know? trying to find their way, their path, their light, trying to figure it out. 
But you see this, um, yeah, stressed, worried, fear, anxiety. So that's that emotional state that they're in. And they just can't figure out what to do here. Stress, worry, fear, anxiety over this. Some sort of offer or situation. Trying to figure it out on their own, but I see them moving forward. Or you, to somebody that either you love or they're coming to you because they love you dearly um, to figure this out. Help them figure this out. They need someone open, honest, truthful, uh, realistic, asking, you know. So we have the Five of Pentacles. So this is like abandonment, feeling lonely, left out in the cold. So let's see what that is about. Again, you know, they may be trying to figure it out on their own, you know, because that Five of Pentacles energy can be, you know, an energy of feeling or being alone. And they're not sure what to do here the world so this is something a big opportunity for them or a big emotional experience or thing they're going through that is going to be a big change in their world and it has them stressed or it could be your energy stressed nervous you know something's closing out starting over or a chance for that wow what else here king of cups energy so that could be your energy scorpio so, you know, this is an energy of somebody who probably can give the advice they need and not get too emotionally um, invested into the situation. So someone here who can keep like a level head and not get too emotional about it also. So either way, someone's coming forward or you're going forward with someone to someone or someone to you. However, that resonates for you for advice, guidance about something, a big major change, offer something in their life. Not sure what to do. They're trying to figure it out. They're stressed, nervous, anxious, you know, but big change, either you or them, and needing some stable, grounded advice with truth and clarity. And somebody who won't get emotionally invested, but yet it's someone you love or they love you dearly. So somebody is reaching out to somebody for advice and guidance about a situation. So let's see um, what will come of this situation for Scorpio. What will come, whether it's you or somebody else? What do we have here? So we have the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Tower. So it could have been a big, abrupt of, uh, disruption, change, um, ending. Somebody having an ending here. It was a shock, a major change, something here. But... We do have success, victory here, accomplishment. So whatever this change is or opportunity, whatever ended, that was a shock, sudden, surprise, change, I do see there will be a chance here for a new start that will be very successful. But somebody needs advice and guidance on this, whether it's you or somebody. And I feel like they'll be getting the clarity they need on this ending or change that will lead them to success and victory, either you or them. So, okay. Just wanted to see how that was going to play out. So let's see your advice and guidance for you, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. This insight in Archangel Uriel. I feel like if you do work with Michael, Archangel Michael is saying that Michael wants to give you insight. You also need to bring Uriel into your life if you do work with the angels. Or Uriel wants you to be in a more peaceful, harmonious energy gain new insights. So let's see what this is about for your advice. Page of Swords. So there's that, um, that's the same as this energy over here. So this could be doing research, you know, maybe doing, you know, and I had said researching Archangel Uriel, <laughs> and that's that, you know, <laughs> doing that research. So learning something new. All right, so let's see. Ace of Wands, fiery, passionate, exciting, new beginning. This could give you like new clarity in life, like a new, um, like enlightenment, insight, feeling passionate, fiery about life again, if you start to bring Archangel Uriel into your life for some reason. Because he is about peace, harmony, um, beauty. All right, so, or may bring new opportunities into your life also, new enlightenment exciting times all right so what else here yeah being in your empress power knowing your value your worth birth of something new the ace of wands is something new 
So if you're trying to bring something new into your life, because I see praying manifesting there with Archangel Michael, but maybe, you know, you're trying to bring something new into your life, because this is the breath of something new, so a new endeavor, project, idea. And this could be research or something like that, learning something new. But I think with Archangel Uriel, you'll be able to manifest this faster into your life or help you manifest more. Ten of Wands, so laying down a heavy burden. Lay your burdens down to Uriel. <laughs> Not just Michael, but Uriel too. All right, what else here? So juggling energies around, finding your balance. So we have two energies there and balancing two energies. So I think you'll be more balanced if you bring these two energies into your life. Not just lay all the burdens of your energy into one, but into two, which will now balance the energies more. And then be able to, you know, invest, analyze, assess, waiting. I feel like you're waiting on something here to invest in. And that could be a new opportunity, a creative idea, birthing something new, and maybe it's taking time and you're getting very burdened by the situation. But I feel like you need to, if you're using the law of attraction or manifesting, if you do use the archangels and you're just using Michael, you need to look into Uriel and that will help to give you more insight, inspiration, peace, guidance to balance out your energy and to learn what to invest, what to not to invest, you know, analyzing your situation here to balance out your energy so you can have this new start. Wow. So I hope that made sense for some of you Scorpios. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.